This is use of floating barriers to prevent migrants from crossing the state's border is now the basis of a legal battle. Yesterday, the Department of Justice filed a federal lawsuit against Texas over the barriers in the Rio Grande. Now, the DOJ alleges Texas's governor, Greg Abbott, violated the Rivers and Harbors Appropriation Act by building the barriers without getting permission from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. The barriers are part of what the governor calls Operation Lone Star. It's an initiative launched in March of 2000. 2021 in response to illegal crossings. KGNS reporter Brenda Camacho joins me now. Brenda, what's the local community's reaction to Operation Lone Star, especially since taxpayer money is paying for it? Yes, um, well, we have a lot of um, law enforcement here in our area. Uh, we're very unique um, in South Texas. We're kind of like our own island. We're separate from the valley. And we have, you know, local police, uh, sheriffs and a whole lot of border patrol cbp and texas troopers so you know it makes sense since we are a border community that there's that much presence but when it comes to uh operation lone star there are just so many elements that you know it depends on the the person that you run into but that people have an agreement and a disagreement on now the governor says this is operation lone star speaking of that this is all to deter migrants from crossing, but previous reports have shown that the mass influx that was anticipated with fight, Title 42 rather ending hasn't happened. So what are local communities there seeing when it comes to these border crossings? Absolutely. Um, Laredo has always been historically an area that sees very low numbers, uh, mostly because we do get um, the single adults rather than those family units. So in, in anticipation for Title 42 ending, um, a lot of, you know, the, the city and the county, as well as like the, the shelters and non-government organizations, et cetera, anybody that could be a part of the preparedness got ready for it. I believe it was in the days ahead of the ending of Title 42 that we saw a lot of buses of migrants, but post Title 42, everything really died down. We didn't see that many border crossers. We became one of the areas where, you know, the, the other cities like the Valley, whatever overflow that they had, they would be brought to Laredo. So we weren't getting as many people and, and the streets right now are pretty, pretty quiet, pretty empty. I can tell you like with the non-government organizations organizations, which are the, sh the main shelters, they have been seeing far less people lately. So definitely Title 42, we were anticipating, you know, a large surge, but it wasn't exactly the case. Okay. KGNS reporter Brenda Camacho, thank you for joining me. Absolutely. Thank you for having us.